<laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. Happy Thursday. We're climbing Loud Mountain today. <clears throat> today marks the start of our Silent Hill 2 gameplay. Never touched a Silent Hill game before. Uh, so this one, this should be fun. Loud Mountain 2. Loud Mountain Dos. Dos Loud Mountain. I don't know the words for Louder Mountain in Spanish. You do all the dishes in the world and constantly keep them. Keep them clean, not cleep them clean. I don't know what a cleep is, uh, but it sounds illegal. Uh, oh, chat, by the way, we've got rewards enabled. That was new to me when I started stream today. So let me, let me, let me explain that. Uh, you get three months of Discord Nitro when you buy a new sub. Uh, there are two conditions. Well, not really. I guess it's just one. It has to be a new recurring or a gifted sub. So I think resubbing does not count, unfortunately, but that's out there. That's out there for the channel. Rewards enabled. I did not do it. They surprised me with it. Surprised as if I was chosen and it's like my birthday. That's not how that goes. This song is very distracting. <laughs> Knock over. Did you see the new Bloober Team game? That is quite the title. What is Bloober Team? Go to Google. Bloober Team. Let's do some reading. Bloober Team. Polish video game dev. Game development and studio known for crafting distinctive and immersive psychological horror games that stand out in the market. Oh, they did Silent Hill 2. Okay. Oh, and Layers of Fear. Okay. Okay. Oh, they also did Blair Witch. Layers of Fear 2, of course. Wait. Oh, the series crowning work. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So now that I know what I'm looking at, share with the class. Firefox.
Oh. Nope, stop. Oh, hold on. I get Dead Space vibes. Also Bioshock vibes, weirdly. Blumhouse Productions? I mean, that kind of just looked like something out of Dead Space. Or Mass Effect, one of the two. Whoa. Yeah, I'm into it. Game Pass, we think, right? I mean, Xbox partner. I would imagine so, but who knows? But yeah, I'm into that. I'm into that. Oh, it would have said Game Pass. Oh, okay. It was very much a tone setter trailer as it's largely pre-rendered. Pre or what did I say? Pre-rendered, but I did. Yeah, I'm into it too. I'm interested. It's on my radar now. to wishlist it on Steam because that is where I stash all the shit I'm interested in even if I'm not getting it on Steam let's see recommended recommended uh, system requirements i7 10700K AMD Ryzen 5 3600X 16 gigs of RAM, an RTX 3080, or a AMD 6800 XT. Interesting. This was revealed today too. Let's take a look.
that control? Tyrant, welcome in. Good to see you. This place was always dangerous. This is wait. And weird. Remedy. Policy and procedure used to keep us in control. But now we need a new approach. Whoa, what is this? Goo gun. This like control zombies? Is that a fucking gnome launcher? Welcome to Firebreak. Game Pass, hell yes. I was hoping this was Control 2 when I saw the announcement. I never finished, I don't think I ever finished Control 1 because I think I got stuck. Duck? I can't remember. I've played it a, a decent amount on stream and I forget why I stopped playing. Um, I, I can't remember. I feel like I got, I know I got stuck at some point. Um, kind of popped off too soon. Three player co-op game based in the oldest house. That's a piece of um, control lore that I'm not familiar with. Control is an extension of like the Alan Wake universe, right? Aren't those two things related? Kind of. Slightly. This was the best trailer from the event, though. I keep coming back to this page. The author's clearly waiting. Man, fucking... Oh my god, that's right. I keep forgetting. Sorry, that sounded like it was about to be a complaint, uh, but it's not. I forget that Remedy does like some live action stuff in their cutscenes. Um, and it always looks so fucking good because, you know, you add some style. To, I, I, I mean, to be honest, this might be a render. I don't know. But you take live action and add some stylistic choices to it. It looks like the game, basically. Uh, tying all the franchises together. Okay. Control is one of your favorites. It's solid. It's solid. I think, I think I bounced off of it is why I stopped playing, but I do that. That That's not to the discredit of the game or the series. Um, I just do that with games. Right. Falls from Alan Wake was an AWE. Oh, Alan Wake expansion. Okay. I say best because I'm an Alan Wake fanboy. You are, which is fine. It's like he's warning us. But about what? I mean, what does it mean? There's a crack in the lake house. The Marmonts had let the lake in. This is Agent Kieran Estevez responding to an AWE alert in the vicinity. I need to speak with the Marmonts. But the water could not flow. Oh, FPC terminal. What, the, what is FPC? Too? I'm bad with the terms. I'm really bad with the terms. The pressure kept building. Looking for release. Gotcha. Thank you. What, is that? what the fuck? We have a situation in the lake house. All you sure do. October 22nd, too. That's soon. Uh, they do environments so well. Even, even control is like this, you know, most of it's inside this like very 
uh, quote unquote boring, like maximalist brute force structure, but it's so fucking cool. It's so cool. Brutalism. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was struggling. I, I knew the word, I couldn't remember the word for it, but I knew it had one and I know that I've used it before. I just couldn't remember what it was. do get into the Alan Wake stuff. Um, I do those like solo off stream. I mean, of course I do it solo because they're single player games, but um, just, you know, just to have a single player game to sink myself into. It's kind of nice every now and again. And I might do that. Not with control though, because I started that one on stream. So if I were to play it again, I would feel obligated not in a bad way or anything, but I would feel obligated to, to continue playing it on stream. Maybe when I have a 5090, I could play, I could play Alan Wake. That's a joke. They're not that intensive, I don't think. I mean, they're pretty intensive, but I don't think they're that intensive. I'm speaking of 5090s and stuff. I, I, how are, how are parts for, that's a dumb question. Don't listen to me. Um, I'm out of the loop on the whole new graphics card, new CPU launch cycle. What's nothing's out yet, right? It's all. Do we have any like cool confirmed shit performance wise? If you if you listen to me, you'll find that I largely don't know what I'm talking about. Early next year, okay. What didn't did I see? Uh, the what is it? The 9800X 3D testing well or something, beating the 7800 like fucking hand over hand. <clears throat> the second one can be super intensive, but the first one, oh right, because isn't the first one older, like 08 or something? Uh, it can run no problem on the Steam Deck. Originally Xbox 360. Okay. I, uh, by the way, mute. I signed up for a trial for Corridor Digital. I love the extended cuts. And I love that they mark them as well. Like when you're getting something that wasn't in, um, that wasn't in the YouTube video. I love that they tell you that. Yes, I am bouncing all around. Hi, hello. Nothing known about performance? Okay. I have to, I'm curious about what I saw then. Speculation is like a 10 to 15% uplift for games, depending on the resolution you play. That's a, that's a solid amount, right? 10 to 
Well, yeah, if you play at 1080, the higher the resolution. Oh, okay. I took I, I took that to mean like, at minimum, you would get 10% at whatever resolution. Well, like it's a sliding scale where at the highest resolutions where you're getting the less, the less, the least increase, it would be still 10%, but yeah. So no 8K gaming this year or next year, rather. That's a joke. I wonder how hard people are still trying to, like how, like there's always like the bleeding edge people, right? I wonder how popular 8K gaming is, or if people are just like, oh, finally, the 5090s a chance at 8K gaming. As always, the higher the resolution the smaller the game, some people speak about performance game. Oh, I didn't know that. So when people speak about performance gains for games, it's always lower resolution. Okay, that's good insight. I had no idea. That part I knew. Uh, from, from running the, the Titan. That part I knew. And if it's in the middle, they share the problem. Super generalized, I'm sure, but... I, I found a thread in the AMD subreddit talk just talking generally about the 9800X 3D. Uh, I swear I've seen every possible permutation of news on the 90 blank 100X 3D. I've seen that it's much faster, not faster at all, less expensive, more expensive. I'm just going to start ignoring the leaks until the reviews come out. Yeah. Should I be looking into the CPU even though I only play 4K? What what work is the word only doing in this thing? Oh, that's right. I forget native is a different beast entirely. But as far as 8K gaming, we aren't even at full 4K gaming as most modern titles with a 4090. Actual internal resolution hardly matters anymore, too. Does anyone else... Do you guys get your Apple Watch if you have one snagged on everything? I don't know why. Not off my... It, it, it's not like a thick watch case, but I snag it on everything. Even just, even just putting on like a, like a shirt or a jacket sometimes, or, uh, uh, taking my, if I wear a backpack, taking the backpack off, the strap gets hooked on the watch.
<laughs> but then again, I haven't put on a jacket in like nine months. You know what? That's incredibly fair. I, it's currently decent. Well, I don't, it's been warm enough in the mornings that I just have to wear like a light windbreaker and I'm fine. We are getting a little, little more heat. This is warming up ever so slightly. Sunday, Monday, it's going to be like 75. But recently it was like a high of like 48. That was pretty nice. Not going to lie. I don't sweat at work anymore. I don't come back a sticky, goopy mess. Which I'm, I'm really down for. I just hope I don't need to turn on the AC again. Today was low 70s, but the air just felt and smelled like fall and it was lovely. It's a great, great sensation. And I, I wish I knew what, what, what the fuck makes it smell like fall? It's gotta be something about the leaves. Something about the damn leaves. They fart when they change colors or something. I don't know. But yeah, there is something about the air. The air literally smells different. Sorry, it's a bag of uh, Nerds Gummy Clusters I can't resist. Uh, it rained a little the day before. That's fucking perfect. Yeah, that would. Yeah, that would do it. Saturday, it's supposed to be near 80. That is absolute bullshit. You're right. You are absolutely right. Oh, by the way, that video you linked about PS PCIe slots... Um, it was actually very informative. Ship team Ghostbusters, hell yeah. Um, now I know that my full PCIe slots pull from the CPU and not the chipset. And that my secondary M.2 slot uses the chipset instead of the PCIe lanes for the CPU. And I think theoretically I would get faster speeds if I put that M.2 on a PCIe adapter and used it there because it's more lanes. But I'm not I'm not doing anything incredibly like high speed on the second M.2. So don't need it. But I, I think if I did that, that's what would happen from what I was reading. I did the idea of a network card it piqued my interest. I think two and a half, two and a half gigabit would be cool, uh, just for transfers to the NAS and an eventual on-raid server. But my switch does not handle uh, that bandwidth, so that would require some other parts. But future. All right, let's get in a fucking loud mountain.
As long as your GPU has a direct line to the CPU lanes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it, yeah. I, I'm never gonna put it on anything besides the PCI slot closest to the CPU, as, assuming it physically fits there. With SSDs, you're never gonna fully saturate. Oh, interesting. Wait. Why? Wait, do you- okay, hold on, do you mean, like, NVMEs? SSDs? Or, like, two and a half SSDs? Or both? Uh, Steam is highly recommending a controller. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna try both. You aren't going to be pushing 2,000 megabytes consistently. Okay. Like, just strictly due to the nature of... Okay, gotcha. So... Okay, so, question then. Isn't your connection between your PC and server a 10 gig connection? But I know that's because you have crazy fast internet, but does that not also help with transfer speeds? Or are you also just not ever hitting those speeds? I think I'm realizing that in a gigabit connection between PC and storage, the actual read and write speeds are going to be the bottleneck more than the gigabit connection. Yeah, that felt really good to say and then to have you say it as well. <laughs> Wait, didn't you just hit 20? I'm so confused. Thank you. Yeah, three days ago. What is going on? Keeg, thank you. Dude, I have no idea. My subs are always so jacked up. Well, that's okay because we appreciate them all the same. That was me on Monday. Yep. I got ads on opening stream today and had to do it again. That's so... Man, what the fuck is going on? Nope. Because I have it. Uh, I have it in here. My keyboard is doing cool, cool Silent Hill shit with the keys. There it is. 
spooky mound? Ew. Uh, what happened to my... Fuck. Uh, sure. Oh, the accessibility. Okay. I was like, uh, no, like actual graphic settings. Yeah. I don't know what these things are. Uh, turn off damage indicator. Poor K. Let's see. Rough. Well, maybe not. Nope. Oh, dude, it makes paninis? Is FSR 3.0 any good? I'm sure I should just stick to DLSS since I have a NVIDIA card. Uh, uh, what am I clicking on here? Render quality. Uh, oh, I was expecting this is what I was looking for. No, 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 we want quality. Just makes the edges of the screen super red and it's hard to see. Okay. Uh, I'll keep, I'll see how it works for me and I'll keep that in mind. FSR 3.0 is okay, but DLSS is better. Okay. Which is off, cap to 60, V Sync, medium paninis, DLSS, quality, high? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll leave that audio as well, although I do want to go a headset. Standard. No, no, no. Give me those new colors. Give me those fresh colors. I, I figured, yep. I was a little scared, but I figured I should be patient on the loading screen. <laughs> Especially the first one. Dude, they added shit to his skin. The red, the fingertips are red. Nice try, King.
A for effort. Restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. three years ago. So then why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Mary here. controller no one put all right um <laughs> come on find the game Uh, preferred device. Oh. Okay. No, still nothing? Is Razor is Razor doing this? Hmm. All right, that's that's fine. We can mouse and keyboard it. I'm using the wireless dongle with the controller.
Did I set it to second? But Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe we do balance? And then while we're in here, we go here. Mm. I think that's keyboard and not mouse. Can I take a shit? Oh, I don't like that it actually let me in here without a flashlight. Don't like that. Don't like it. I feel... Is that the panini? Do we have too many paninis? Something feels weird with this. That, that feels better, I think. See if it stabilizes. I can do that. Oh, it'll be in a Pacific Northwest town. Forest. Forest town. Is this anything? That looks like, yeah, that looks like nothing. There are three collectibles. Well, don't tell me that. Especially you, because I never know if you're joking or not. That's fine. I don't think I'll... I, I think there's enough game to play here that I, I'm not really going to be concerned about 100%ing it. You've already missed them, don't worry. Yeah, you already got the bad ending. It's fine. watching the Silent Hill movie and I also remember enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, starting a bad ending run, I see. Yeah, yeah, we're going going for uh Hey, this is the scene they use for the colors. Oh, we save games in the blood wells. Gotcha. An interesting choice of words. I turned on my DPI, and that's actually way better. Can we just push on? We do. We sure do. Oh. It's okay. I'm just scaring you. Lost. Oh, Loki, God. Loki on hell? Right way? Um, yeah. <laughs> Man, your PC hates Unreal Engine 5 titles. It spot, does. There's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... I think you should stay away. 
This, uh... This town, there's something wrong with it? And it's not just the fog, either. I wonder what would Is cause that. Dangerous? Maybe. It's kind of hard to explain, but... I'll be careful. I'm not lying. Getting no, roasted, Keeg. Just... I don't know what is more more nostalgic for me, the game or the frame care, rate. It's dangerous or not. Cinematic, what do you no, mean? Way. But why? I'm looking for... Someone. <laughs> someone very important to me. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here. Which game? Oh, God. Either. Which drive is this game running off of? It is running off of my uh, four sorry, terabyte. I believe it's the 870 no, I, uh, Evo. I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. All my games are on that drive. I believe, let me, give me one second. I can actually look. I was just looking at it the other day, amazon.com. I believe it's an 870 Evo. Turns out that browser is not logged into Amazon. Yep, it is a four terabyte Samsung 870 Evo. Do you have more words for me? Did you, uh... Did you want anything else? Uh, no, it's just... This fog. Does it seem... Unsettling to you? I guess. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. SanDisk 2 terabyte USB drive. Control all escape to bring up task manager and put it on your other monitor if you can. I sure can. Uh, when those spikes show up, see if you run into IO issues or other indicators. How much of Spoon's playthrough did you watch? Not much. Not much. Uh, so what exactly would I be looking for? Uh, performance and then go to disk, the disk that it is. Um, and then just check that. He actually linked the four terabyte, but close enough. In the performance tab, you should see all the disks. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I was looking in the right in the right spot in the first place. <clears throat> oh boy. I'm not Not seeing anything crazy, I don't think.
It's running faster on screen than it is on stream. I can say that much. That's so weird. It's almost like having Task Manager up is making it worse. <laughs> Uh, CPU 44%, uh, GPU 98, 96 to 98%, uh, memory is 94%. Yep. And right as you said it, uh, OBS encoder overloaded. Morning. Oh god, and my mic is breaking up now? That's so trash. That's so awful. Best stream any. Okay. I <laughs> okay, okay. All right. This. If you're wondering why it got better, I closed Task Manager. What are you using, Maxwell's? <laughs> no, not, me. not Maxwell's. I mean, it's still not great. I also went down a setting, but it also was, still did not pick up until I actually closed Task Manager. But yeah, I didn't see anything weird on the drive. I saw like at most one, like 1% 1 usage or whatever that measurement is, that percentage measurement is. I wonder if it's all the thermal paste I got on the, I got on the pins. That's a joke. Right? That's why I was like, wait, why? Like, I didn't think it would be an issue. Ooh, new area. Okay. Task manager is now running on the secondary screen. But it's on the the top option. I forget what that's called. Processes. Yep. Now I have the performance tab open. Okay. I don't know what happened the first time, but... Yeah, my memory is just slammed. 94%. And now it's fine until it's not. Oh, I, di I didn't. I did paint flames on it, though. I heard that was supposed to help. So many good noises. Has to be weird software in the background causing your problems. I could see that. I I could see that only because, uh, as we know, my Windows install is a janky mess. Uh, but what got you to that conclusion? Simply because we know my Windows install is a janky mess? I mean, if that's the case, that's fine. I just... Silent Hill Ranch. Do they make a Silent Hill mayonnaise too? That was low-hanging fruit. No, nada. Flames do make it go faster. Yeah, that's what I. That's what they told me. 
When I bought it from Randy, he said put paint flames on it. Just because it's like a slow boil until your stream gets all jammed up, jammed, jammed up, and it seems time-based rather than event-based. Okay. Okay, so you asked me to pull up disk activity for the drive that this game is on, and I did, and it wasn't registering every anything, like, worth noting. But now that I reloaded it, it swapped the disk order in the performance panel. So I was actually, this time, reading from the wrong thing. Uh, so now I'm actually on the 870 Evo 4 terabyte panel. With these Unreal Engine 5 games, you drop a bunch of settings and it still eventually occurs. Yes, I think that's the most frustrating thing, just from a usage standpoint. Because, like, I, I can't, it's not even like I can drop settings to claw back some performance because it's still, like, it still does it. Is this whole thing just a straight line, or is is there, like, shit I'm supposed to be able to explore that I'm missing out on? What is that? Is that a charge? Yeah, okay. Still nothing worth writing home about on the disc, as far as I can tell. Oh, spike. Yeah, okay. Little spike in time with that frame drop. Smaller spike. Nope. Just hoping I could bash through it. Ooh, gotta find a key. But it's in this spooky building. Went to town to get the window fixed. Spare keys in the drawer. Oh, no, back, back. You said your GPU memory is pegged or your RAM? Uh, as far as memory goes, I meant my actual RAM. Not VRAM, sorry. My GPU is pegged. Um, but when I said it, I meant like RAM. Like RAM RAM. Instead of the VRAM. More like the BRAM, anyways. Uh, around the back? Hello? Anyone in here? Yeah, just crawl in. It's fine. It's fine. Wait, you have all 32 gigs of system RAM utilized right now? Correct. Hmm. 
Let me just yes, it's it uh, it shows all thirty two. Yes. By what? Great question. Find out. All right. Uh, Silent Hill. If your system RAM is fully saturated, then you are swapping a disk. Uh, Silent Hill taking about 5,800 megabytes. Uh, Brave Browser taking almost 2,000 megabytes. Firefox alone, 1,300 megabytes. OBS, 950 megabytes. Steam, 670 megabytes. Uh, Chrome, 540. Should definitely close Discord. Telegram and that. I also did not close shit before I... <clears throat> I usually close some stuff. I did not close anything this time around. Why do I have three different web browsers open right now? It is a valid question. Um, Brave, because that's the one I use personally. Firefox, that's the one I use on stream. And then um, the last one's actually a... I... Look. That's great. Yeah, I'll fucking forget. Um, Chrome is actually because when I set up my... This is, this is a terrible reason. I want to say that and get that out of the way. Um... When I set up my stream sh like hotkey for everything, it was launching apps and websites in Chrome because that's what I was using, and I just never switched them over to Brave. So that's why. Um, I also I went to force close Chrome a while ago, and it broke something else that was in use, and I forget what it was. Oh, shots fired! Oh. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> I forgot what it broke, but it broke something. All right, so now uh, I've... So I don't have any windows... Open in Brave, but Brave has not been force closed. Uh, Firefox is not open. Chrome is not open. So now it's Silent Hill at 5,000 meg. OBS at 800. Still Brave at 750. Uh, Steam 600. Discord still, even though I closed it. Spotify is a cool 300. Uh, Windows Explorer is a cool 300. Uh, the Stream Deck alone is 145 meg. Cheese, you know I love you. Uh, I forget often. <laughs> and I say these things in just, but let's plan an early Sunday morning chat. Let's walk through all your stuff so I can help. I, here's the thing. I'm not against that. Le I, I'm i not. I would love to do that. That sounds great. Uh, you've been incredibly helpful for a very long time, and doing that would help my shit immensely. The problem is that you would discover how fucked it all is, <laughs> and it would, <laughs> which is a little embarrassing. 
It would be like, you're fucking, you have what running on what doing what? Um, yeah, I'm in. Um, uh, I'm in. I don't know which Sunday, but, but yes. Just looking for other shit to close. EA app, don't need that running. Wait, what do you mean I sometimes forget that? Am I that mean? No, 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 no. Um... How do I explain this? No, no, no. Uh, People like me have issues not feeling like everything is a form of rejection is what I mean by that. And also, we just forget shit, <laughs> including that people care and love us. <laughs> so no, you're not that mean. Um, we're just sensitive little flowers who f- forget that, you know, friends actually want us to be around. <laughs> Jeez, let me help you Friday night. I Look, I got something you can do for me Friday night. We can make it work. <laughs> We can make it worse, and then you can just blame it on me on Saturday. Saturday? You mean Sunday? Uh, so all of that closing and quitting brought uh, Ram down to 80%. Oof. Don't think that way. It'll just be a chat about tips and tweaks. Oh boy. Gotta wait for it to level back out. I have, I have though felt for a while, like there's no way, like I understand it's, you know, the 3700X and a 3070 Ti, like it's not, the newest and powerfulest of hardware, but I do often feel like it should be performing better than it should. Oh God. Hmm. Uh, are those FPS drops in the local game or just on the encoder side? They are also on the encoder side. I have an OBS message saying encoding overloaded. It's actually worse in my OBS preview than it is on screen. Sorry, than it is on my screen. Way, way worse. Also, a bunch of random stuff in the background are always alt having. Yeah, yep. Alt having is a. Uh, I don't know what I would do without alt having. I have to focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> uh, alt having is actually uh, alt having broke Hunt Showdown for me last night. Um, they, they they released a new update that had some some extra stuff in it, and I was playing it, and um, looks like that release was a a little. Some people had some has some issues when you alt tab it would lock up the game. Um, so yeah, it actually uh prevented me from matchmaking because I alt tabbed in the middle of matchmaking. All right, let's. <laughs> Holy shit, open all five of those web browsers back up. Let me close Task Manager. It's closed.
And there we go. <laughs> Why is it better? Why is it better after closing task manager? Why? I feel like it shouldn't it shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's it's fine for me now. It's fine on my preview now. <laughs> oh, it's so behind. It's so, so behind. I have it running on my phone now, too. Uh, Keeg, I'm, I'm glad you gave me the heads up for the slow burn. Because I think if I didn't have that heads up, I would have gotten frustrated by now. Yeah, it's fine now. Okay. It was, <laughs> it was, I didn't pull it up in time on my phone. That's too bad. Uh, yeah, so the difference was closing task manager. At least in that case, the difference was closing, or that instance, I guess I should say, the, the difference was closing task manager. I actually, uh, <laughs> I forgot to mention this earlier because I forgot about it completely. I, I put together a mini loose plan to actually, uh, clean up a bunch of shit on my PC this weekend. Um, you know what? That's entirely fair. It, it, it has. That's entirely fair. Um, there was, when I had, when I, my, uh, MacBook was still operational. Uh, I had a little program called Hazel and it ran like automatic file, like copy paste moves, um, which was great because it kept things more organized. Um, there's an equivalent for windows that has a 30 day free trial. So I'm going to give that a, sh a, that a shot and try to put stuff into granted. It won't do anything for the windows install necessarily, but it should at least, you know, organize a bunch of shit on my PC. And then I'm also going to go through uh, Winderstat and uh, just clean up some old shit. What the fuck is this draw distance? Uh, it's, it's, you know, right in front of you. Oh boy. Well, if we do a troubleshooting session, the first step... Ooh, a map. Uh, the first step will be me helping you structure your data and back it up so we can nuke your Windows install into orbit. Fair enough. I think that install is just flat on C. I, I don't think it's... I don't think I have a partition set up on that at all, so it's the entire terabyte <laughs> of, of that NVMe. <laughs> Ooh, Texan coffee. Hell yeah. M for map. D for Dora. F for frames. If you have a Samsung drive... Uh, I do. That 870 Evo is a Samsung drive. Uh, so are the 500 gig drives, I think. 
Uh, you can use Drive Magician. Not sure if it'll do what you need, but it's great for managing Samsung Drive health and storage. I will keep that in mind. I did see that recommended somewhere else as well. Specifically for Samsung Drives, of course. Um, but I did see someone mention it. Miss Cassandra. Cassandra? Cassandra. Cassandra. Anyways. Customer came in today. Order a mi ordered a mixed bouquet, red and white. I tried to explain it's bad luck, but he couldn't decide on just one. He seemed a bit off, looked at me like I wasn't even there. Then he just left, said he'd be back to pick him up later. I just wanted to let you know since I might be gone by then. That is good for mirror mirroring and migrating everything. I want to help him back up only critical data, do a fresh drive slash partition to clean out the cruft. Ah, uh, he got a crufty drive. Good old crufty disc cheese. Disc, disc, crufty disc. Let's let's emphasize. My disc is crufty. Okay, <laughs> I think he has a case of the stanky truck. <laughs> like the nerdy version of the stanky leg. <laughs> Can I go back? I can. Can I steal the money out of the register? Can I put money into the register? What is this? A uh, blood trail, probably. Have you seen one before? Okay, what the fuck is up with this? I keep seeing the same car. Chat, we're above 40 frames. What a miracle. And spoke too soon. So a certain spot I'm supposed to get to. Ooh, all right. I'm gonna take that as a no. We're going that way. I go this way. Nope. I should probably double check that I have a Windows install key. Should probably find that flash drive. <clears throat> huh. huh is correct. Oh, it marks it. Neat. All right, so now just straight across the intersection. You were logged into a Microsoft account. I am. Your key is tied. Fantastic.
Hmm, okay. Oh, can I go down that side street? Wait, isn't that where I came from? Yeah, because I pulled the map off the thing. Yeah, that's where I came from. Okay. So, down the street to my left, and then take a right at the intersection. I don't know what things I can or can't go into. Like, nothing stands out as, like, something I should try to get into. I mean, this does. Kind of. Uh, what? Don't try to talk to it. Hey, wait. No. Before we before we open that can of worms, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Uh, when I moved to my new hardware, I logged in and got it. Looks like you changed hardware. Want to move your Windows key to this device? That is nice. Nice thing about the remake is that uh, he updates the map actively. Yeah, that will be helpful.
All right, we're back in it. Back in it to win it. <clears throat> All right, chase after the naked person. It's always good advice, right? Excuse you? Sounds like a gremlin. Hello? What the fuck is that? Yeah, go investigate, James. Good idea. 
Get real curious. <sighs> yep, get under there. Yes. I like that the save points are bright red, so I can spot them easier. TV or radio? What the fuck is that thing? Check the window in the last room? Or now the first room that I was in? Okay. Stay back. I can beat it with a stick. Fucking curb stomp it. Is what I saw in the fog. Maybe. Whatever it is, it's not human. Oh no! Wait. So. Bummer. Nice thing about the remake is you never get a flashlight, so it's too dark to see the scary stuff. What was uh, what was the window in the last room or first room or whichever room? Did I start the bad ending? Because I didn't look out the window. All these damn doors. What a weird noise. Yeah, I'm going to stick that in my neck later. You've actually entered a soft lock state. It'll let you get all the way to the last chapter, but not complete the game. That'd be so frustrating. All right, I've got my verified fucking plank with nails in it. I 
killed my first thing. Neely's Bear. All right, so go skip a block and then take a right. Well, that's the wrong key. Automatically pulling out the plank. Jesus, what the fuck? That looked broken. Like actually like physically scuffed. Kind of like my frame rate. Nope, one key. Oh, I'm not even, okay. How nice. In March of 1965, the town of Silent Hill was visited by the main psychic psychical that's not physical. The Maine Psychical Research Association, after thorough examination, a team of expert dowsers, strange words, and the association concluded the area surrounding the now historic Wilts, Wiltsy, Wilts coal mine to be highly active. They also expressed their hopes for further research and exploration of the gorge. These hopes, however, were never fulfilled due to the location being restricted as a historic nature preserve as declared by the Silent Hill Historical Society. Additionally, the idea was met with resistance from the local community, which claimed that the nature of the association's research would hinder tourist activity in the area. Questioning the credibility of our research and hiding behind day trippers seems like an excuse to prevent us from seeing what's really out there, commented one of the researchers. Unfortunately, none of the local representatives were available to comment on the matter. Editors note at the time of publishing, there exists no evidence supporting credibility of radiesthesia or proving effectiveness of any dowsing methods. Opinions expressed in the article do not reflect the Arthur's... Arthur's? <laughs> the author's views. Can I just sit in here and read books? There's a lot of them. I don't see any titles on them, but that's okay. I'll figure them out. Is there a Kablamo in here? No? Okay. Ow, what the fuck? Ouch. Oh, where did you come from? Ow, how did you... Fucking fight me. Okay, okay. Fucking... Curb stop your ass. So is that okay? All right, so that's it, huh?
All right, so then I have to go. Ooh, too fast, too furious this way. Yep, and then take a left. Ah. Uh. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> Oh, that's the payphone. I was like, what is that noise? You're uh, traveling yes, I... through blurp the dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. It's very insightful advice, Gordon. Very insightful. Leave it a bit. Dodging is important. Yeah, I, I'm struggling with the timing. Ooh. Oh, God. I did not want to full send that. I hear liquidy noises. Fuck you! Get wrecked, kid. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, single digit frame rates. Sweet baby Jesus. We're just gonna we're just gonna wait that out. <laughs> uh -huh. Never mind, stream is delayed. So just refresh to see if it helped. Did it? Mine is also super delayed. Uh, yeah, whenever I start dropping frames and stuff on my end, or if it starts chunking, um, is it, his stream gets super delayed. At least on the on the viewer side. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the twilight zone. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Geek. <laughs> what is Gordon saying? <laughs> is there an easy way to just turn off any overlay software? Uh... So it's, so the overlays are, mm, it's not software per se, because it's all in OBS. Like I can turn the scene, I like I can, um, like this, but that's just like on or off or like visible, not visible. I don't know if that actually like does anything let me find that one as well so all like all of this it how do i explain this a lot of the stuff that runs that you see on obs like this is stuff running within obs but the tie-in for the follower count percentage goal is like a, a web hook effectively i don't even know if i'm using that term correctly but it's connected to something on twitch but it doesn't run on my actual machine. Uh, and then a lot of the other stuff, um, like the follow alerts, the sub alerts and stuff like that, those are hidden until they actually get triggered. Um, I can do this, see if that helps.
We're fully naked, chat. A lot of noises. Is that, a, is that a wooden plank in your pocket? You just happen to see me. The man was here again. I told him he'd been warned not to come here. He acted like he didn't know what I was talking about. Anyway, he got up and left. He didn't make any sort of fuss, but there's something about him that gives me the creeps. When I look at his face, it's like I'm staring at a mask and there's something underneath wanting to get out. I don't want to be there when that happens. But is there like a plug-in running locally? Uh... Not for... Overlays specifically. Um, so I have Firebot running, which is does all my commands, stuff like this. Um and does some other like effects, but it doesn't do any. Mm, it does overlays when they're triggered. And then I do have other, another thing running that helps with some stream effects when they're triggered, but I don't even see them on this processes list as being high in terms of uh, memory usage. Perhaps a placebo, but it looks like it's running more consistently. I do know that like the more uh the more stuff like this that is running, it has to like render that out or encode that out. Big J. Oh, I can't take that. Um, yeah, I mean, I can, I can disable some stuff that's not act active currently. Yeah, so right now it's just... So I've, I've turned off anything that could. So now... No matter what happens on the stream, you're just, ooh, excuse me, you're just going to see the game. We'll see what happens with that. I see you. Come here. Ooh. Oh, there's no lock on, and it's a little slow because of the frame rates. Can I not? Alright, so I keep getting rerouted. Oh no, I don't. Just down this way. Oh, I found another thing I can close. I had a brave window that was hiding on me. Dude, it's so weird when they crawl. I mean, like, it's weird. I 
Like, it's weird, period, but, like, extra weird when they crawl. What am I looking for? Should it be to my left? It's not that, is it? No, it's not. It's this one. There was a hole. There was a hole here. It's gone now. And then a shrine-looking thing. FES got a bit better and then it tanked again. I don't know what got into him. He just started smashing the thing. Had to throw him out. He ran off. Cried he'd fix everything. Gathered up what I could. Still haven't found one of the buttons. Half the record. Oh, it's a record player. Or like a like a music. Uh, like uh, it's a jukebox. There it is. Half the record is still lodged inside, but the other part's missing. Figure he must have taken it. Come to think of it did run towards group. Anyway, maybe go check up on him, see if he's alright. He lives over at Saul by the pharmacy apartment 9. Ooh. Uh, it's a flip on it. Let's go look at this thing. <laughs> that was such an incredible touch of having the record thing jiggle ever so slightly. Oh, this is Puzzle Land now? Awesome. Uh, I don't think I can use a broken vinyl record to get in that room. Neat. Okay. So, what you're telling me is ultimately I can't do fuck all here. M for map. Oh. Come here. Like your stream is super delayed. Mind restarting an OBS real quick. No problem. Give me, give me thirty seconds. Latency test. Latency test. How bad was that? What did you get for a time? I want to I want to wait to stop it until it shows up. <clears throat> About 30 seconds. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, give me a bit. I'll be right back. 